Hello there, I'm Luke, and I want to throw up in my mouth whenever I hear the term Linux community. Because it's one of the most annoying terms used by really only the most annoying people. Um, firstly, I just want to say a community, that's something in real life. There's no such thing as an online community. I know people use that term, but unless you don't know these people, uh, unless you see them in real life and interact with them, it's not a community. It's just, it's a metaphor and people shouldn't use it. But specifically, and if you ever hear anyone saying something about, oh, we should do this for the Linux community, or the Linux community is this or that, just, you probably already instinctually throw that comment in the trash where it belongs, but just make sure that you do that. Make sure to clean up that mess. Uh, because every single person who is constantly talking about the Linux community is basically just a grifter. Here's what I mean by that. I mean, for years, for decades, really, you know, Linux has always had its you know, spats. There have been people debating about things, but um, very recently on the internet, there has emerged this new kind of grifter, this new kind of character. And what they do is uh, they want to consume product all day. They want to watch videos about Linux all day. Uh, they might watch my channel. I hope they don't, but they might, they watch all these other YouTube channels. I know there's that kind of people. They just want to consume product. They just live and breathe Linux. That doesn't mean they know anything about it. They probably don't even know how to exit Vim. You know what I mean? They're those kind of people who are just, they're not interested in the technology. They're not interested in the ethics or the, the mind behind uh, free software. They're really just inter They just want to be a member of a cult. When they say community, they really mean a cult. And they want some kind of, I, I don't know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make any statements about what their real life might be like, but that's often how it is, okay? So these people want to have this kind of online community, quote unquote, um, and most importantly, they want to patrol it, okay? They want to, uh, you know, make the boundaries of what, uh, you know, what is acceptable in their quote unquote community for their own ego, you know what I mean? So these are the kind of people who, let's say, I mean, one way you can tell them if they're novices especially, is they get really touchy about distributions. Oh my goodness. They can, you know, if you say something, uh, like if most of them are, it might be using like basic distros, because again, they don't, and it's not because using Ubuntu or something like that is bad, but I'm just saying they don't know that much about Linux, so they use the easy to use distros, or at least easy to install distros. I find Ubuntu very frustrating to use. You should be using Artix Linux, by the way. Um, but anyway, they'll use these distros and they will get so upset if anyone even, like if, if you say that you use Gentoo or Arch or something in front of them, that will basically give them PTSD and, oh, you're an elitist, oh, you're this and that, and it, it's just so stupid. Um, and they're constantly, the, the worst, you know, they're always saying things like, here, here's the real problem, okay, here's what it comes down to. You know, the, the, they have the mentality of, I don't have an identity, therefore I identify with things that I do. Okay. I, oh, I don't believe in who I am. I believe in, uh, oh, I use this Linux distribution. Therefore it's part of my identity. Oh yeah, I use Linux, but then I use Google Chrome and Telegram and Discord and all these stupid proprietary systems. Uh, therefore, if you ever say anything bad about Google Chrome, you're attacking me. If I, if you tell me that, you know, using Linux is freaking pointless, if you're just going to use a bunch of proprietary spyware, well, you're attacking me. That makes you toxic, buddy. Hey, you're toxic. You better, you better not talk to me. Okay. Now the irony is that is it, it is exactly these people who are quote unquote toxic for the quote unquote Linux community. Okay. That that's the irony of it because most other people, uh, I mean, in technology, especially on the internet, the internet has united so many different people of so many different perspectives. It's actually crazy. If you, and I'm not talking about the grifters here, I'm talking about everyone else. You can talk to so many people who are communists and furries and libertarians and coomers and degenerates and some actually very many normal people too. Um, but all of those people can be united uh, using Linux and, and, and use, you know, doing these different things, trying to figure out how to do things technologically, free software, all this kind of stuff. Okay. And most, all of those people get along fine. There, it's not even an issue. Okay. What the real issue is, is these, I don't know, there's not like a word for them. They're sort of like soy devs. They're sort of like HGIWs. Like the overlap is actually very big, uh, in this, these kind of these, this, whatever, I need to make up a, a meme term for them. Uh, but these kind of people, uh, they view it as their goal 
to start stuff, even though no one else is like people have different opinions and you know, they get along fine, but these people want to start things. And the weirdest thing is they're going to blame it on someone else. Like if, if you say, if you not even bully them for their distro, but if you just like, I don't know if, if you are too knowledgeable about something and make them feel inadequate. Uh Oh, that's toxic too, buddy. You, uh, you, you offended my ego, which is actually very fragile. And I get offended about all the time. So that's your fault, buddy. You, you gotta, you, you're not allowed in the Linux community. You're not allowed in my cult anymore. So that's these kind of people. Uh, and it's actually very, I don't know this archetype again, it needs a name. I don't know. Put it in the video, just uh, the comment section if you can think of a name uh but it needs to be like one or two syllables it needs to be pretty quick but they're just a kind of a grifter grifter is too you know generic so anyway that, that's pretty much all i have to say about these people in particular but uh i the other thing systemically these people have become a big problem frankly uh it, particularly for linux because um originally well, i shouldn't say linux i should really say gnu slash linux uh, because we're really talking about the GNU, you know, project and the GNU, uh, you know, free software is an ideal. Because what's happened is these people have come in, uh, these grifters have come in, and they don't care. Re I mean, they might notionally care about open source. They won't ever use the word free software uh, or, you know, because it's confusing or something like that. But, you know, they care about the superficialities of the technology. Like they want to be involved, even though a lot of them don't know what they're doing or whatever. They want to be involved. Um, but, uh, the, like, they don't really care about the ethics behind free software, they don't really care about anything, so they'll just support technologies for social signaling, right? They'll just be like, oh, this is a cool project, so I'm going to support it. Or I just want, oh, I love, I love technology, dude! I, thinking about the consequences, that's right-wing extremism, buddy, I'm not going to do that. Um, that's how these people are. They're not interested in anything, like, they will, they will, uh, they, they don't care about actual user freedom. If user freedom contradicts their other views, uh, they will immediately discard it. That's how they are. If, they, if, uh, you know, if you're too concerned about privacy or, or data security or something like that, again, that's, oh, that's like a conspiracy theory. Dude, that's weird. This, this is what I'm talking about. These kind of people who, and you, I know you've seen them because they're more and more popular nowadays, or not popular. They're more, they're more common. You just have a bunch of people who are involved in GNU Linux uh, who don't really care about it, who are just there for, I don't know, they just like watching hours and hours of YouTube videos about Linux all the time because I don't know it's cool or uh, I, I don't know because it's weird. I don't even know exactly what's going on, but I've just seen this more and more often. When I started my YouTube channel, uh, I don't know, like maybe five years or so ago, everyone... I ran across on YouTube, like who had a comment to, you know, was all on the same page. You know what I mean? They care about the technology. They care about getting things done, done efficiently. They care about free software. But as time has gone on, you just have this like ensconced group, ensconced group of people who don't care about anything. Like they, they just, it's just a cult for them. And they want to have friends on the internet and they never think about the consequences of the things they're doing. And the irony of all, all ironies is that these people who are more or less, the, they are the actual toxin in the Linux community. They are constantly, uh, I don't know, trying to, to, to guard the borders of what they want. That, like if you do anything to question their moral nihilism about anything, it's your, you who are the problem. You know, that's the thing that annoys me. So anyway, that's the actual problem in the Linux community, okay? That's it. That's it. Get, just ignore these freaking people. Don't dignify their stupid egocentric statements with a response. Uh, like, just get... If you feel like someone's insulting your technology preference, A, why do you care? Who, who cares? Like, no... Who out here cares? Find someone who cares about Linux. No one does. It's a freaking abnormal thing to care about, firstly. And secondly, you're probably just being a little too high on the spectrum because most of that stuff, it's not... It's just people giving you a friendly roast, okay? Frankly, just get over it. What's wrong? Anyway, that's it.